And hey there, it's me, Mudlinka. Welcome back to some more Baden Kaido's Eternal Wings in the Lost Ocean. So last time, we continued into Mira, meeting up with Trill, Callus' childhood friend, went inside of a dungeon, in the, it went inside of a garden, thanks to what Trill told us about a mysterious light being there, supposedly being the end Magnus, it ended up not being that, it ended up just being a reference to the tower, the, the tower of Druaga, with a really shitty boss fight. And now we've been captured because we're suspected of kidnapping Lady Melodia, despite the fact we have a witness telling us where exactly we went. It's not at all difficult for us to break through this village, but it's not a wise course of action. If we try to force a way out of the village, we'll stir up their suspicions even more. Isn't there any way to get out and yet not harm the villagers? Huh, they locked us up in a can house made of candy. Gabari, you'd be the fucking greatest person ever if you just decided, hey, you know how we're gonna escape? I'm gonna fucking eat through this house. You're gonna fuck up your teeth for the rest of your life, but I mean, it'd get us out. Yeah, I'll have to get out of here to save Lady Melody, but the problem is how to get out. Oh, nice. Kiss uh, things and okay, well, we've examined everything, I'm pretty sure. Oh. Hey, I think I've got it. Think about it. This house is made of candy. Oh my god, he actually is gonna fucking eat through it, isn't he? Oh my god, please. We can just eat our way <laughs> to the little hole in the wall. And we can crawl out through the hole without being noticed. I see, then. We'll be able to get out without harming the villagers. See? Great idea, huh? So who's gonna make the hole? What? I'm just asking who's gonna eat a ho huge clump of sugar. Um, that's... I don't think I should, you know, sweets and girls don't, you know, they're not good for us girls. Thank you, but I too must decline the offer. I was told, always told not to eat too many sweets when I was a child. Likewise, I don't hate sweets, but I'm not into eating so much sugar. You can count me out. Oh my god. Okay, so you're just forcing Gibari at this point. I thought you would be like, I'm gonna eat it myself. Aw, oh, come on. Well, who is, whoever thought of, thought of this idea should do it, right? Right, Gibari? Fine. I'll eat it. Just you watch. Oh, I can't eat anymore. Hey, don't you want to eat this part? Eat just a little, just the edge, please. It's not bad for a wall. No thanks, you're almost done. Keep going, Gibari. Oh man, I'm feeling a little sick. Yikes! I can't believe this, you ate the wall, are you insane? What's up, Trilly? Did you come to break us out? Um, I believe you guys. It looks like the people who kidnapped Lady Melody were heading to Picture Book Village. If you plan to go after them, use this route, Callus. I'm planning on making you some sweets, you know, so don't go dying on me. Picture Book Vill- Oh. Okay, this, this place is some really bizarre and also very interesting, um, locales here. I'm not against it. It actually seems pretty cool.
Oh my god, yeah. Now, it's one of those crazy end of the world people, but I mean, I have a good feeling my Persia is, is going to pretty much get revived. And we're just going to have to fight him. Okay, this place is fucking weird. Can't talk to those guys. See things on this... It's Releasing stress. Okay, so these are just fucking weirdos here. Oh, Mirage. We that's, that's where I use it. Okay, hang on. Okay, there you go. Bada bing. Okay, yeah, before we go to the fortune teller's place, I'm just gonna, yeah. Ooh. Person with a bra bracelet. There you go. I don't think I'm ever gonna complete this fucking... Let me get out of here. I know this is where the shop is. Okay, that's looks like something out of fucking Katamari Damacy. So let's see, so I've got this here. Who cares about what those are? Light flare level three, I don't have any of that. And brilliant horn, you know what? Light flare level three. And brilliant horn, you know what? I think I'm gonna attempt to use Liud again. For a little bit, but I mean, no thing. Yeah, it's just like I don't want to take. A, oh, you know, actually, Shell has kind of just been, uh, been kind of poopy lately. So you know what? Uh, it's fine.
So yeah, I'm gonna put in Lewd. No, not, not replacing Kallus. Kallus is fucking amazing. So yeah, there you go. I mean, her attack isn't that much different. It's like 66 to 74. It's not that big of a difference. Oh yeah, the church. Yeah, it's. I can also start leveling up. I also don't think I ever. I didn't get. I don't think I got a. A, star map fragment. Yeah, I didn't. Okay, level twenty-two for you. Number twenty for you. Twenty one for you. Twenty one for you. And then twenty twenty two for you. So seventy nine, seventy two. This is kind of a small village, but it's fine. Try Crescendo Pen. Ah, I get it. It's just like the company name, Monolith. Ah. Kind of booby. These guys are just like an anomaly. Now time to go to this fortune teller's house. It's probably gonna be that old lady again. Or maybe all the old, maybe all the fortune tellers just look like that. strange this young man here I feel no madness within him just an empty and lonely darkness what do you mean no Magnus couldn't be every life form every tangible object in this universe has its own unique Magnus he shouldn't be able to exist if he doesn't have one then it must mean he is not of this world. That's ridiculous. You're saying I'm a monster or something? <laughs> Spare me the dime store fortune telling. Hmm. So you don't believe my words? Not that I blame you. How a face looks depends on the eyes of he who sees. How a voice sounds depends on the ears of she who hears. Someday you will know who you really are. Okay, yeah, that's even a, an even bigger hint to like what I think of how Callus is really like. I think he's. It, probably in this case, he's probably like some weird reincarnated form of like like a part of like Malpertio's power. I don't know. I'll have to see, could be something like that. of Lady Melodia. Nope, nothing. Can't find her anywhere. I heard the strangers who kidnapped her were caught in Parnas, though. You know if that's credible? No idea. Either way, there's no sign of the lady at this point. Hey, listen up! I heard that a group of strangers entered the Shrine of Spirits. Supposedly, a couple of villagers saw them. 
one of them seemed to be a young girl wearing a hood. Are you sure? A girl with a hood? Yes! We should get down to that shrine on the double. Let's... Right. The strangers with this girl of theirs must be Giacomo and his goons. Let's head for the Shrine of Spirits. Okay, so we got our next destination already. And we haven't seen stay in this place for that long, thank god. You guys are really fucking creepy. Seems like this is the last area of Mira. Maybe not. Wow, it's been a while since I came here. This is where I met you. Remember? So, your memories are coming back. You'll be back to your old self in no time. This next new place here looks very calming and looks kind of normal, all things considered. Shit. This doesn't look too fair. Let's, let's check out how these enemies are, I guess. Shit, you fucking... No, fuck showing them off. It's here? Okay, there's a treasure chest here. What's this? Ooh, water blade. That's... Whose is that, I wonder? Yep, Callus. Okay, so just water blade there. Shit. This okay, I don't know how many paths are gonna be here. Okay, okay, this seems like a path. There's nothing else on, okay. Ooh, this looks like something cool for Callus. Okay, there you go. Fuck. No time to okay, I'm back here. I fought a little bit of enemies, but everything should be good now. Uh, where the f- That's through here, yeah. Then go down through here, and still nothing. Shit. That enemy is really fucking annoying with freezing people. And I got this. Almost the, the best Borealis. But still not quite. Okay, this is the right way.
This place sure is creepy. Makes those little hairs on the back of my neck stand on end. I need to talk to the lady in private. That's why we're here. Taking her back to the Goldover would cause a ruckus. We're not declaring war on Mirror after all. I say we hurry up and trade the kid. Grab what we're here for and leave. I don't know why, but this whole nation makes my stomach churn. That I agree with. Yet our orders are to avoid direct conflict. The lady is a friend of our Emperor after all. Oh boy. So, dear lady, is there anything you know that may be relevant? If not a Shining Magnus, maybe an old family treasure or two. Anything may help. As I have told you countless times, I have no idea what you're talking about. Are you sure this mystical Magnus of yours is truly in our lands? Even if it is, I know nothing of it. If such a thing does exist, my grandfather, Duke Calburn, may know of it. Hmm. I had hoped to learn something from you beforehand. But no matter. We'll talk with the Duke as planned and guarantee your safety in exchange for his cooperation. Are you sure it's here? Even Corellia back in NUNUA hadn't heard of the End Magnus. What makes you think Calbrin knows? Because he does. It is the Ducal family's duty to protect this island's End Magnus. Before you talk with the Duke, why don't we have a little chat, Giacomo? <gasps> ah, Callus, it's you again. You really know how to make an entrance. I just about had a call this babysitting. Time for some action. Yes, how very thoughtful of you all to show up. And look, today we have a surprise appearance by Sir Liu. Backstabber extraordinaire down with the enemy after throwing away his own country. How dare you! Gallant, you little maggot. No fooling around today. We're running out of time. There's a few things I need to ask you, but believe me, this is going to hurt. Enough talk! It's payback time! Prepare to die, Giacomo! No! You can't fight me! Shut up, Missy. Go sit with What the? You hear that? The trade spirits! Your hatred is stirring them up! The boundary between dimensions is breaking apart! We got this weird looking penis monster again. Yeah. Yeah. 
Zord. Turn teardrop to terror and wreak havoc. Zord style. Yeah, what the fuck are these things? I said it was a gnosis. It's like some undead thing. So that like dark attacks won't be too too damaging. Nothing but you fucking paralyzed me, you goddamn cocksucker. The oh, fuck, I meant to. Actually, no, it's fine. All sixes. Bam, 773, and even blocked that last attack. Don't paralyze me, thank you. I guess the annoying part of you is having to block two, two sets of attacks, but eh, it's fine. Bam. So that's decent. So it does decent damage. Here. Fuck, I meant to... Went to... Should've went to the different one. Hang on. Okay, so... Six. Seven. Two. 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 Don't paralyze. Fuck off. You don't even do much damage. You're just annoying with par paralyzing. Oh, you know, explosive paddle fucking sucks on you. Why don't I fucking remove it? Six, seven, eight, six, six. Damn, is he already on fucking low HP? What? Or at least on half? Don't paralyze me. Thank you. He's got a special attack on life drain. Okay, so you can drain some HP. I guess if it makes up for you having a little bit lower HP, kind of. Wait, what? Seriously, already? Everything will be alright. Go back home now, okay? The 
this is no place for you to be. Not yet. Just wait a little longer, please. Phew, that was quite a spectacle. Duke Calvin's strong will definitely runs in the family. How did you do that? Lady Melodia, is my lady safe? Yes, I am fine. These travelers rescued me. Oh, thank God. It was a good thing you were here to protect the lady. You have our heartfelt thanks. Lady Melodia, the Duke is terribly worried. We should return immediately. No time for details. We can discuss this mess fully at the manor. Let us go then. Thank you very much, all of you. Please come to my grandfather's manor. You will be most welcome. I must be going. I guess Lady Melodia didn't know anything about the N. Magnus. Looks like it. But you heard what Giacomo said. The Duke himself might know a thing or two. Well, it's a good thing we have one of the N. Magnus with us. We could simply show him and see if he recognizes it. Right. That should convince him that something's about to happen. Hey, what's wrong, kid? What are you doing? Um... It's gone. Ah, uh, is that all? For a second, I thought... What? Gone? What's gone? Not our N. Magnus! No way! Speak up! Yeah, it's gone all right. The end Magnus is missing. Don't give me that! A Magnus doesn't just get up and walk away, you know! Forgive me for asking, but did you run a thorough search? Are you sure it's missing? Yes, inside and out. It's gone. Just gone. You don't believe me? Look for yourself! But it can't be! It was there when we set out for Mira. Could we have dropped it somewhere? Someone would have noticed with the shining and all that. Tell me, do you know where the N Magnus is? I see. Why should we expect you to know anyway? Sorry. Doesn't know either. All we can do is retrace our steps back to the ship and look for it along the way. Yes, I agree. Fortunately, Giacomo and his men need to keep a low profile. That gives us some time to look for the Magnus. Well, that settles it. So let's get cracking. No sign of it. Where could it be? Someone might have already picked it up. Very unlikely. If someone found it, 
I'm pretty sure the ensuing fuss would have reached us by now. You have a point. The village was just as quiet as always. I still don't get it. How could you drop something like that without noticing, Callus? Hey, wait a minute. You're not blaming me for this, are you? Give me a break already. Since when was I in charge of all our stuff? You're right. This is everyone's fault. We shouldn't put all the blame on Callus. Hmm. It still doesn't add up. Are you sure you dropped it? What? What do you mean, Savina? You mean... You're saying someone stole it? It's unlikely we would drop something like that without noticing. This naturally brings up the possibility of theft. But how? Who would be able to grab it without us noticing? Someone among us. It's unlikely that anyone else could have. Hmm. You think one of us stole it? I don't believe this! Since we don't know when exactly it was stolen, it's possible that any of us could have taken it. Wait a minute. What about that masked traveler? The one who helped us reach Mira? The great Mizuti? I'd say no. Never came anywhere near our stuff. Besides, I doubt that little creature could lift anything from us without standing out. So... It was one of us, then. It most certainly wasn't me. Hey, Liud, relax. No one's accusing you. Don't worry, Liud. We know you're not under the Empire's mind spell anymore. The Doctor and Diadem said you're clean. We're not doubting you. I know I didn't, but am I really... I couldn't have taken it, right? Supposing one of us did steal the Magnus, where is it now? None of us is carrying it, and there weren't any chances to pass it on to the Empire. We did encounter Giacomo and his goons in the Shrine of Spirits. But none of us would have had enough time during that battle to hand it to them, so where is it? How did the thief hide it without us noticing? <sighs> Let's just stop talking about this. We're not getting anywhere. Let's just trust each other and move on. Now that we've literally lost our entire hand, we can't allow the Empire to get this island's end Magnus. But can we really trust each other? There may be a traitor among us. Uh. Then again, this loss of trust could be precisely what they intended. Giacomo and the others could have stolen our N. Magnus somehow, as part of a ruse to turn us against each other. If so, it's working well so far. Now that you mention it, that is a possibility. Anyway, we should head for Duke Calvern's manor. Giacomo may be up to something while we're sitting here. We have no time to waste. We'll be all right if we trust each other. We have to. Hmm. I agree. Things will only get worse if we wait. All right. We'll have time to worry about this later. Sooner or later, we'll find out what happened to our N. Magnus. Let's take care of the more crucial problems first. Okay, let's go pay a visit to Duke Calvron. We must prevent Geldeblain from obtaining this island's N. Magnus. So for that, I kind of have t two working theories at the moment for how that happened. So first and foremost, it's easily, I easily think it's going to be, oh my god, what's her fucking name? Um, uh, I had Melodia, there you go, why did I forget her name for a second? We literally just saw her. She, she uh, took it from Callus when uh, 
when we helped her out as we entered Mira, or Callus is actually hiding it fully, like somewhere we don't know about, and he's hiding it from everyone else. I just suspect Callus the most out of everyone. Okay, yeah, level 24. Level 22. Level Twenty-two and then twenty-three. Motherfucker, talk to him. Sakura Borealis and Virgo. So what am I gonna get? Double Firelight, Gladius. Ooh. More weapons for Callus. Jesus Christ. Golden buckle to fucking give it to someone. Extra defense and agility, which, yeah, I'm just, I'll just keep, it's more immunities and all that, but I mean, just make you super fucking strong like that, everything's fine. And now, what I'm gonna do is, probably end it off when we actually enter inside the, the next, the next place. Balançoir, Borough of Illusion. Hey, is that you, Callus? Where have you been all this time? What are you up to these days? Hey, long time no see. It's so good to see you. Remember when we used to hang out? You, me, and Trill? Let's get together sometime and chat about the good old days, okay? Yeah, random friend from... A random childhood friend from Kellis. Okay, so we have a nice collection of Magnus, you can go to him. There and then. Linary. What's that? Get something defensive for you, so.
Yeah, okay, that's actually a nice little bit of dialogue there. Could have like voiced it, whatever. Oh my god, oh my every single time I see another shopkeeper. They're just creepier and creepier and creepier. Yeah, that time that thing actually. Gets money from you, okay. Let's see, bye. I'll buy this, why not? Oh, these still cost a lot of money, so. XP plus 3000, that's actually pretty good. I think should get that experience. It's the lowest level. Uh, the lowest amount of experience goes to you, so. I mean, I'm gonna actually use it in the next episode. Just because, yeah, I'm still not 100% about Liyud. And Kapori's been good, but I'll switch back to. Oh no, Kapori's actually. No, he's still pretty good, so. So we actually know, let's just switch. Like that. No, I like that. Shall have used so much in this playthrough. I can just do this, and I'm always gonna have Callus on my team. So anyway, I gotta start getting ready for work soon, plus it's almost, you know, 50 minutes, so. Might as well end off this episode here. You know, got a decent amount done. I'm actually wondering when when the disc one is gonna finish, I think we're gonna start getting close. Maybe, maybe the em the entirety of the empire arc is gonna be, like exploring the empire arc is gonna be like the entirety of disc two. Maybe I don't know. So maybe after we're done with Mira, it's gonna be finished disc two, disc one. Let's let's see. Guess yeah, we're already twenty hours in. So now we'll have to see. Yeah. Uh, see you guys next time. Take care.